In this tutorial, we'll see how to use Cisco IOS L3 interfaces module for configuring L3 attributes of the interfaces. First, we'll take a look into the parameters. So here, the main parameter is config. Under that, we can configure either IPv4 or IPv6 L3 attributes. So here, we'll look into how to configure IPv4 address. So here, if you want to configure one interface, name is a mandatory field and here under configuration states we have seven configuration states we'll take a look into all these configuration states first we'll see how to gather the configuration i'll go to vs code and we'll start writing the playbook so here i'll create a task first i'll call this gather l3 config and the module name is cisco dot ios dot ios underscore l3 underscore interfaces and we are just going to gather the configuration so we can give only the state state is going to be gathered and i'll register this into a variable register i'll call this l3 config output and here i'll print the output this particular variable here we'll be able to see the l3 properties of r2 so let us try running the playbook ansible playbook and the directory is 08 and file name is 03 enter so now this is gathering the properties of this particular device it's having management ip 0.62 we can verify the interface configuration here and this is having ip 0.62 now we'll see how to do parsed all these options we have seen earlier i'll just quickly run through all this parse and we can take the details from here and here we already have a file r2.conf i'll change the file name to r2. Dot so that is already having all these interface configurations i will comment it i will try running the playbook again and now this is parsing the configuration from the backup file we have already seen this concept earlier when we looked into interface module so here also we can see the ip 62 now we'll see how to generate equivalent cli command from the module using the rendered output i will copy this And here we will do rendered and state is going to be rendered and here we need to add the configuration details in the module documentation so here the first parameter is config under that we need to give name of the interface the name is a mandatory field here after name you can see under config it is going to be a list element that means we are going to give the list of interface names here then under ipv4 also we can see list elements we can have multiple 
address options under IPv4. So let us start writing the playbook. So the module name is iOS L3 interfaces and here we need to give config. Then under config we have to give the name and name is gigabit ethernet I'll give 0 slash 1 here and here we are going to configure IPv4 under that again it is going to be a list element and there the key is going to be address and I'll configure one IP 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and either we can give the subnet mask like this or we can give slash 24 we'll check both options and in the documentation we can see here rendered gathered and passed does not perform any changes on the device so it is not going to make any changes to the device it will just generate the configuration i'll save it and we'll try running the playbook again So here we can see the CLA command it is going to execute on the device. Currently this has just rendered the config. If you want to push this configuration to the device, you can use merge, replaced or overridden option that also we will see now. So here now this has given 2550 here I will change this to slash 28. You can see here it is changing the subnet mask. So Ansible is having intelligence to identify this and generate the equivalent CLI command. Now we'll see how to do merged. I'll copy this. Paste it and we'll try to configure gigabit 0 slash 1. And I'll change this to merged. save it and before that we can check the current config it is empty let us try running the playbook so the changed status is 1 and we can see the command this has executed we'll check it from the device so now its IP is 10.1 and if you try to run this task again it won't change the configuration again because it is already same as what we have given here now we'll try to change this and we'll try to run the playbook again using merged and when we use merged it will not give no command before configuring you can see it is just overwriting the configuration and it is changing the IP to 10.2. Now I'll copy this. Now we'll see how to do replace. I'll change it back to 1. Save it and we'll try running. Now Ansible will give no command before configuring the new IP address. So you can see here this has given no IP address to the old 10.2 IP address and then it is configuring new IP address. That is the difference between replaced and merged. Now we'll see how to use overridden. I will copy this yeah first I'll change the state to overridden and when we are using overridden we need to make sure we are giving all the other interfaces 
which are having IP addresses or other L3 properties. Else it will replace only with this config. So here for safer side, what I'll do, I'll give even the management interface details. Here management interface is 0 slash 0 and its IP is 192.168.0.62 I'll give 192.168.0.62 slash 24 and here what I'll do I will try to configure one interface manually here interface gigabit 02 IP 1.1 1 .1. now we are going to give overridden here and we are not giving gigabit 0 slash 2 so what will happen is it will remove the interface configuration from 0 slash 2 if you don't give this management IP it will try to overwrite that config as well so let us try running the playbook you can see here it is trying to delete this configuration now if I comment this interface it will try to remove IP address from this interface as well it is trying to make the configuration compliant with this particular data now we'll say how to use deleted So first we'll configure one interface and try to delete that particular interface. First I'll configure 0, 01. I will comment it. Now here manually I'll configure a description as well. Interface kick up with 01 description test description. Now we have all these configurations available in this particular interface. Now we'll try to delete the L3 attributes. So one thing to notice here is description is part of another module which we have seen earlier this is part of iOS interfaces module even if we give delete in L3 interfaces module it will not be removing this attribute because it will delete only the attributes available under L3 interfaces module so let us write the playbook I'll copy this So here we need to give only the name and state is going to be deleted save it and now we'll try running the playbook so now this is deleting l3 attributes we can verify it from the device so this has removed the IP address but still this is having the description if we want to delete the description we need to use iOS interfaces module I hope now you have a clear understanding on how to use iOS L3 interfaces module